continúan las celebraciones, no van a terminar por un buen rato más aquí al pie del podio de este London y Free con Jake Dennis, estábamos conversando recién, campeón mundial de esta temporada 9 de la ABB FIA Fórmula E, dice no entro en mi camiseta, tiene una, una, justamente una camiseta hecha para la ocasión, Jake Dennis, campeón del mundo de la ABB FIA Fórmula E, muy contento por supuesto y muy merecido para este equipo Andretti, que llevaba nueve años esperando tener esta oportunidad tan de cerca para salir campeón del mundo y lo lograron en apenas la primera de las dos carreras de este fin de semana, en la recta final de la temporada 9, como digo, de la ABB FIA Fórmula E. Conversamos con Jake Dennis, conversamos con el ganador del día, Mitch Evans, también con Sebastián Buemi y con el resto de pilotos, también por supuesto con Sasha Fenestras. Tuvimos un gran susto con Sasha cuando tuvo este serio incidente en una de las curvas, se fue directo hacia el muro de contención, pero por suerte está todo perfecto, está sano y salvo para la carrera de este domingo. Vamos a ver el reporte del día. Jake, proper attire now. Uh, what does it feel like? It looks good, huh? Looks good, sounds good, feels good. I mean, we've just become world champion. I mean, I'm absolutely ecstatic. I can't believe it, and uh, I'm over the moon. I can't. I really can't believe what we just went through in that race. I've never been so emotional inside a car, even before I'd won it. Like I had every emotion going through me, and uh, to come out on top is incredible. We were talking with Roger earlier. The heartbeat must have been like up and down. I dread to, I, the race. Honestly, I dread to think what my heart rate reading was, especially in certain situations during the race, but. I mean, crossing the line, I've never experienced emotions like that and um, uh, something I'll never forget. Okay, now you're going to jump into the river, right? Yeah, mm, uh, not the river times. <laughs> Maybe a pool or something like that. That's it, really, man. Appreciate it, man. Congratulations, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's hard to, uh, hard to speak. I mean, it, it's been nine years that this team has battled oh. in this championship. Oh. We've had some uh, rough periods and we've had some highs, but I've never felt like this before and there was a few tears earlier and uh, yeah, I'm so pleased for everybody. I mean, it's a contribution of every single person in this team and we talked about it on Friday morning and I, I'm just so proud of every single person. And Roger, if we had to do the, the heartbeat graph, how would it be after this race, during, uh, during this race? Well, actually it was probably okay until the first red flag. And it peaked a bit, and then it came down again, and then the second red flag, I was like, oh my goodness. But uh, it's coming down, I'm coming back down to earth now, but so happy. And uh, you know, it's crazy, we've got to go and do it all again tomorrow. And uh, you know, we're now looking at, what does this mean for the team's championship? So uh, I don't think any of us can work it out right now. We haven't got the brain power, but uh, yeah, Every so Every emotion but, tomorrow is going to be totally different yeah, championship. Yeah, I, I said to Michael earlier, I said, oh, If we get it done now, I'm going to bring in a lounge chair and a cocktail and just enjoy the race. But uh, I'm sure he won't let me. For now, please enjoy the celebration. Congrats, huh? very well deserved. Mitch, amazing victory, mixed emotions for sure. Yeah, massively. Look, uh, I came here to try and at least push the championship or my hopes until the next day. Um, I did all I could, but obviously uh, Jake just did enough to to clinch it. And um, yeah, I'm, I look, I'm, I'm pretty uh, deflated. You know, the road mistake hurts, but obviously, you know, it's a full championship and, uh, you know, Andretti and, um, and uh, you know, Jake were the better ones to share, so I'm um, going to accept that. On your part, you did everything you had to do. Four wins to share. Um, today, I, yeah, obviously had to fight back after my grid penalty. Um, I did that and uh, we, we, you know, optimized the race as perfect as we could and we did that. So. Yeah, I feel like I didn't like good but it wasn't enough. So anyway, yeah. is what it is. Um, we'll try now uh, reset and go again tomorrow. Yeah, not uh, not a happy one. Unfortunately, I was expecting my first podium with the team to be a bit nicer than that, but obviously uh, was not the case. So uh, kind of disappointed with the day. Uh, we could have been leading the team championship by a, a huge amount, and uh, it's all going to go down to the wire tomorrow. So uh, we'll do the best we can. We'll try to regroup for tomorrow. It's one more race. We need to make it a good one. And we heard you on the radio, you weren't told anything during the race. No, I mean, I I did everything I was told, but that on, on that action, I, I don't understand what he was trying to achieve. I would have done, you know, a nice way. So I'm, I'm really disappointed with what happened, the outcome. I think we could have done much better. So yeah, that's the way it is. And from your point of view, from your camera, you couldn't see what was going on behind you. Oh, but you know, you drive side by side, all those corners, you know, but it's not really a nice, place to let him buy. I would have let him buy somewhere else, no problem, you know, but there is, I find it really, uh, 
and I didn't know why he was doing that. You know, I would have. Obviously, that's the way it is now. Bueno, yo creo que, que sí, cuando Gunder me, me, me mete en la pared, que, pero siempre es lo mismo, este, este piloto siempre es muy sucio, ya lo sabía, es, es mi culpa de, de intentar ir side by side con él, porque ya lo, ya lo debía conocer mejor. Pero sí, me, y también Haas que hace cuatro vueltas con Sen ala delantera, ahí intentando quebrarla, un montón de pedazos de, de ala por, por la pista, no sé si se me hacen un, un pinchazo por, por eso también. Y nada, al final de la carrera hago las últimas cinco vueltas o seis vueltas con un pinchazo y consigo mantener más o menos la posición, no estaba rápido, pero consigo mantenerla y me, me sacan el podio porque, porque dice que la presión del pneu, de la goma está, está demasiado, demasiado baja. No está, no está demasiado baja porque estoy intentando yo, uh, uh, sabes, a jugar con las, con las reglas. No, es que tengo un pinchazo en, en, en la goma. Y además que venías corriendo con el, el neumático como debe estar y de repente... Yo, yo, he, yo he hecho aire. más de 100 cajeras en Ford. Yo sé cuando un coche está seguro para manejar o no. E ellos no. No saben cuántas cajeras han hecho los technical delegates en, en Fórmula E. Cero. Yo más de 100. Yo sé cuando... Y me ha dicho él, si, si está seguro, puede ir. Me ha dicho él. En mi cara. ¿Hay forma de apelarlo? Sí, claro. claro. Estamos haciendo, sí. El problema es que estamos jugando el campeonato de equipos claro. y con ese resultado íbamos segundo muy cerca del primero, todo para jugarlo mañana y, y ahora con esto estamos casi cuartos. Sí, muy caótica, uh, muchos incidentes. Uh, bueno, uh, salí de, de, de 19, llegué a ganar cinco posiciones, después hubo un incidente en donde Franz perdió el coche delante mío, perdí el, la ala delantera, después hubo un incidente con Sasha, que me alegro que esté bien porque fue un golpe muy fuerte. Uh, bueno, y al final dos banderas rojas y hemos terminado P6 en pista, uh, un resultado in inoficial aún, espero que no haya ningún cambio a partir de ahí y estoy contento. Caótica, una guerra muy muy difícil uh, para hacer el management, hemos hecho un buen trabajo y vamos para mañana. El auto del ganador de Mitch Evans, el Jaguar, Ganador de este, de este primer el London y Prix, pero no le alcanzó para ser campeón del mundo. Como decíamos antes, Jake Dennis se lleva la corona de este año en la ABB FIA Fórmula E. Queda una carrera todavía por delante. Mañana domingo, aquí estaremos. Y como siempre, en vivo por Dead Sports Motor, por DirecTV, obviamente, por Fox Sports México, por Azteca Deportes también y también, obviamente, por Carlos Sports y Tigo Sports. Un abrazo y hasta mañana.